Hello, this is Sean Stabinski with Intermet Systems. Once the decoder driver is installed, Windows may erroneously detect your decoder as a serial mouse. This would be evident by random movements around the screen and random clicking. To stop this from happening, unplug your decoder from the USB cable and plug it back in. Then we need to go through the disabling serial mouse detection procedure. It is strongly recommended prior to using the IMAT 3150 that you go through the serial mouse detection disabling procedure. Microsoft in its infinite wisdom has decided that even in the days of Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7 that people still might use a serial mouse. A serial mouse plugs into the PS2 port or an actual serial port on the back of the computer and sends data continuously and automatically to the computer. Therefore, whenever Windows detects data coming in without being asked over a serial port, it installs the serial mouse driver on that port, causing your mouse to go crazy all over your screen. So in order to disable it, we've got to insert a value into the Windows registry. If you've only got one item, one USB port in your Windows registry, the procedure is a little bit simpler, but I'll go through the entire procedure here. First we're going to go to the device manager and look at the ports. Here my decoder has been installed on USB serial port COM5. I'm going to right click and hit properties and go to the details tab and look for the device instance ID. Three things are listed under the device instance ID. The first is the enumerator FTDI bus. The second group is the device ID and the third group is the instance ID. We need those values to determine where to install the D-word value to disable serial mouse detection. So I'm going to go to the start menu, hit run, and type regedit. This brings up the Windows registry editor. And then I'm going to browse to the H local machine, system, current control set, enum, and FTDB, FTDI bus. I'm going to expand that. In this particular instance, I've only had one decoder ever plugged into my computer, so if I had known that, I could have gone directly here to install the D-word value. If you have multiple values, Here's where you need to compare your device instance ID to the instance ID here. We want to make sure we choose the same one. So here I've got the same one. And I'm going to go all the way down to device parameters. I'm going to right click on it, hit new, D word value, and type skip enumerations with a capital S and a capital E. I could hit enter and enter in the value which is which is um, eight F's one two three four five six seven eight and hit OK. You can see over here in the data column that indeed I have eight F's entered. This is not case sensitive so you do not need to enter all capitals or all lowercase. You could choose any combination you want. At this point we could close the Windows Registry Editor, close all our properties, and reboot the computer. Thank you for watching this video.